Uh, hello, Brockton. How you guys doing? Very nice. Uh, I'm so happy to be here. But let me just get straight into it. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Joel Lee Dewey, Uncle, or you can call me the guy with the long last name or that big signs on the street. Uh, yes, that's what some people call me. Uh, eight years ago, uh, fortunately, after facing one of the most devastating earthquakes in Haiti, my family brought me to America. And the place they chose for me was the city of Brockton. And ever since, that city has been my home, and I've been day in and day out doing everything that I could possibly to do. When I came in this country, I could not speak a word of English. This was eight years ago. Fortunately, there was a program at the Brockton Public Library where I learned English as a second language. And as we speak, I've seen Malice up there. She was my first English teacher. Put your hands together for Malice up there, folks. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. While learning English at the Brockton Public Library, I got a job at Crystal's Restaurant. So many of you remember Crystal's Restaurant? Unfortunately, it's not there anymore. But I worked there as a boss boy for two and a half years. Working there was one of the most experience that I could possibly have and will always forever be grateful. For so here we are, eight years later. After learning English, went to Master's Red Community College, graduated from Suffolk University, worked for a variety of politicians, for former mayor of Brockton, Linda Balzotti, State Rep Mike Brady, Senator Mike Brady, and of course, Governor Pachi. And in 2014, I worked for Raise Up Massachusetts to pass question four, to give earned sick time to every single worker in the entire state in the history of Massachusetts. And at that time, I was not a US citizen. February 11, 2016, I became a US citizen. And February 11, 2017, I announced my campaign to be one of your four city councilors at large. And as we speak, I am one of your four city councilors at City Hall. That's diversity we're talking about. <laughs> By virtue of that blessing, because of you, I was fortunate enough to get a call from Elizabeth Warren to go to Washington, D.C., giving the Trump administration. But enough about us right now. Let's talk about politics. I choose to run for mayor because I believe and invest more in education for our children. Public safety, youth empowerment, seniors, homelessness. Because I think these things are very important. Here's what I said. We cannot talk about public safety without talking about education. And we, we cannot talk about revenue without bringing business in this city. Here's one thing that I will do for you. When I become the next mayor of Brockton, Main Street will be two ways under my administration. So we can have more business coming down here. You will invest in quality education. So our children, no matter where they live, whether they live on the west side, or the east side, the south side, the north side, will receive the best education. But how do we do this? In order for us to do something like that, we need bold, progressive leadership. People with backbone so we can do what we have to do. For too long, you got people been saying that I am a lifelong resident. I'm proud of that. But here's what I can tell you. At this point, we need somebody that can actually say yes and mean it and no and mean it. Because together, I strongly believe that we as a city, we do have the ability not just to talk, but also to do what we think is best for all of us. And I think now is the moment in the city of Rockton. We are at a crossroad where we have to make a decision. September 17 will determine what the next two years will be. So together, like I said, I want you to believe in Brockton by voting for Jean Bradley de Court as the next mayor of Brockton. Let's do this. I love you all. God bless Brockton. God bless United States. And God bless all of you. Let's do it. I'll see you on the campaign show.